a lot of breaking news. More than a week removed from the accident itself, we are finally learning some of the details surrounding the serious accident involving the ride Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point. The Ohio Department of Agriculture is in charge of inspecting all amusement park rides in Ohio. They held a news conference today and released the accident report, giving us the first details into what actually happened. Arlena Lai, following the story, joins us now with the very latest. Lena, good afternoon. Hi, guys. At Lee, you guys know that the park has been bombed. The police department mm -hmm. out there has been bombed. So finally, we do have new details. And here's what we know right now. The woman who was struck is 44 years old from Swartz Creek, Michigan, which is just outside of Flint. The Department of Agriculture said they have no information on her condition, but they said they did speak with her family today to update them on the status of their investigation. We are learning more about that metal piece that hit the woman. It was an L-shaped bracket about the size of an adult man's hand that's known as a flag plate, and it functions to let the ride's operating system know that the train has passed through a particular portion of the track. Half of the bolts used to secure that plate to the train were still in place after the bracket flew off. The Department of Agriculture's Chief of Amusement Ride Safety says the investigation has only just begun. ODA is investigating the cause of how and when the plate disconnected from the ride and the damage that occurred to the track. The train has been sent to a laboratory to examine the bolts which remain in the train body, and ODA is awaiting a report from that testing laboratory. And the chief also said the Department of Agriculture inspectors issued a stop order for the roller coaster the day of the accident, also put a lock on it so that it couldn't be operated. And we'll keep digging, trying to find out more information. We'll have more coming up at 6 and also at 11 tonight. Yeah. Still nothing on the condition of the woman. Right. Uh, privacy, you know, we have reached out to the hospital to see if she wants to release her condition, but because of HIPAA laws, it will, will be up to the patient to release that information. Yeah, very curious what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the update, Lena. Yeah.